hi there and welcome to this channel today we are making green peas or what we call minji in kenya and these are the ingredients that we are using for today green pepper carrots tomatoes ginger and garlic you can use any other vegetables that you want to add and for the spices we are using curry powder garlic powder cayenne pepper and onion powder so so my green peas are partially boiled and i'll go ahead and uh, fry them in my pot i'll saute my onions till they are well cooked guys if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i really appreciate and if this is your first time to be on this channel thank you so much for clicking and please consider subscribing so that enter my post up video you'll be among the first people to be notified you know it is free to subscribe and i really appreciate if you join this family so i've added my tomatoes and ginger garlic paste i'll let them cook for a few minutes i normally let my tomatoes cook at least you know to produce that uh, juice completely to make it a little bit saucy before adding other ingredients after this i will add my carrots and uh, a capsicum or green bell pepper so that they can cook together before adding my green peas it is a very simple recipe if you you know if you don't want to add any other any protein sometimes you can add your beef or your goat meat but in this case i'm just doing peas alone with no meat it is good for vegans i guess it's also good for another person you can add another protein you have but because already have other proteins that i'll serve with i prefer to just cook it like this with no other meat or anything so i'll let the vegetables cook and before i add my partially boiled uh, minji normally you don't even need to cook green peas for a long time because they're even yummier when they are a little bit green sometimes i don't even boil them so i'm adding my tomato paste you know we want the stew to be thick and uh to, to have enough tomatoes i mix both raw tomatoes and uh, tomato paste so as i said if this is your first time to be on this channel kindly consider subscribing like share with your friends you know and uh, be feel at home to be part of this family I normally make simple recipes, you know, Kenyan, West African, because in my family, we are a family of East African and West African members. So I normally try to mix both. I just hope you will enjoy. So my vegetables are cooking. The next step, I'll check if the sauce has formed enough or well. Then I'll go ahead and add my green peas and let them cook together let's see how it looks mm -hmm. this is what i'm talking about you know the ginger and the garlic paste my friends it's everything i normally it's like a must in every stew i make and it, trust me it has made such a difference in this stew that i'm making the aroma in my kitchen hmm. it's amazing guys it's amazing so i've added my green peas and uh at this time i'll mix and add some little water so that the stew will start forming yes as you can see sometimes i feel like i can stop at this point and enjoy my green peas but no i need to let it cook a little that's a mud in water because i mean we need that stew so for this green peas you can serve with rice chapati or another uh you know and other thing that you feel but mostly i serve minji or green peas with rice or chapati for this particular one i'm going to have it with white rice fried chicken and i will enjoy so i will let i'll leave it for a few minutes until it cooks and i'm cooking this on low okay on medium heat you know when you put too much heat i feel like it fastens everything and not well cooked so i'm cooking this on medium heat to make sure everything 
you know cooks well and wow our stew is ready guys enjoy hope you've enjoyed and see you next in my video